All right, so last week we started with weather maps. And this is just a real quick recap um, of this picture. It should look familiar because it was in the video last week. These are different weather map symbols, okay? And we really, really need to understand these weather map symbols moving forward because in order to read the weather maps, you have to know what you're reading, right? It's almost like playing music. You have to understand those symbols uh, in order to play an instrument, right? Or read music. So right here, clearly, you know, we have um, rain and snow. And if you look over here, you can find where the rain is and here is snow. You can look and see where is the snow. But what I, what I want you to notice is those L's and H's, right? That is your high pressure and your low pressure symbols, okay? And then, of course, you have different types of fronts that can come. You have cold fronts, warm fronts, stationary fronts, and occluded fronts. And we're going to go over those again in this video. OK, so hopefully you paid attention last week. So this is just pretty much a quick review. Right. OK. Right. So I, I found this one and it has color. So, right. It looks better on the eyes and it comes with uh, legends to kind of help you along the way. So as a quick review, and if I were you, I would take a picture of this because you can use it as, you know, your own little uh, study guide. But here are some fronts. This is the key for your fronts. You have the warm front, you have the cold front, stationary front, and you have the occluded front, okay? Now your stationary front will always look like this. It's almost like that combination of the warm and cold fronts together because they're stationary, they're blocking one another, so neither one is moving, right? Which one will win? right? So it's almost like a tug of war, okay? Um, occluded front, that's going to be this one right here, and if you see that is here. Now the occluded front, that is going to be a cold and warm front, but it's not stationary. Stationary meaning parked or not moving at all. Occluded fronts are moving, but they both they have both your cool and warm fronts in them, um, moving with them, right? Then of course you have right here your warm front. Now here are your high pressure symbols, your low pressure symbols, okay? And of course, you may not see all of these different symbols on your test questions, but they're right here just in case, all right? Of course, we understand that mostly sunny shows the sun with the cloud and then mostly cloudy. Notice the clouds are covering the sun. Of course, sunny is sunny. Thunderstorms, there you have. It's almost like those little emojis in your cell phone, right? And you have heavy rain. And then, of course, you have one right here. It's snow. OK, and these can get tricky as we move along. All right. So it's all about reading weather maps and understanding those symbols. So let's talk about the high and low pressure system. Again, that capital H is for high pressure. This is the air tends to sink. Winds blow outward from the center, turning clockwise, okay? Turning clockwise. Notice this is in the motion of the hands on the clock, clockwise, okay? Now, notice your low pressure areas, you're going to have that motion going counterclockwise. So this would be the hands on the clock going backwards, okay? I want you to look at that. Please note this right here, all right? Um. Low pressure areas, the air tends to rise and winds spiral in toward the center in a counterclockwise direction. So you're wondering, how does this happen? What causes all of this to happen? This brings us to uh, later, what causes hurricanes or what are some ingredients for a hurricane? So pay attention, okay? So a cold front. Once again, that's going to be that little blue strip you see there. And even if you don't see it in color, OK, you still need to understand that that is the cold front symbol. You're going to have those little triangular little pointers pointing in the direction the cold front is going. All right. So a cold front. If cold air is moving toward warm air, then it is a cold front, a warm, cold air boundary with the colder air replacing the warmer air. Once again, this is review because we did this last week, right? 
please make sure you remember those symbols. You'll see them again. Okay, weather associated with cold fronts. You have some thunderstorms. That looks like a tornado right there. You have hail, which can be those little um, ice balls that can fall from the sky. Don't be outside when that happens. All right, cars become damaged from that. So yeah, you have these different weather systems that do happen when we have those cold fronts. All right, and then we have warm front. Well, your warm front is going to be the red line with the red circles on it. Notice the circles are going to be pointing in the direction the warm front is going, okay? If warm air is moving toward cold air, it is a warm front. All right, boundary where a warm air mass um, replaces a cool air mass. Warmer tropical air is forced over the cooler air. All right, so that would be your warm air rising, as in convection currents, and your cooler air will always fall. So weather associated with warm fronts, you have rainy days, right? You have those humid days. As the air, uh, warm air rises over the cold air, the water vapor in it condenses into clouds that can produce rain, snow, or sleet. A slow moving warm front can mean hours, if not days, of cloudy wet weather before the warm air finally arrives. And if you remember Hurricane Harvey, we had a very slow moving system, which allowed Houston to receive a lot of rain, okay? Which caused a lot of flooding. So we don't want those slow moving um, systems. No, we don't. All right. So a stationary front, just to go over that again, remember that is going to be that cold and that warm front kind of merging together. It's almost like a convergence taking place, right? When a warm and cold front stops moving, it becomes stationary. Once this boundary resumes its forward motion, it, it once again becomes a warm front or a cold front, okay? It becomes warm or cold. So a stationary front is represented by alternating blue and red lines with blue triangles pointing towards the warmer air and red semicircles pointing toward the colder air. So it kind of gives you that, you know, uh, I guess tug of war in a sense, like which one is going to move or which one is going to make it. All right. And so now we have what is called occluded front. OK, so your occluded front, this is when a cold and warm front merge into one front and it is still moving, though. OK, it's not stationary. Stationary means not moving. OK, the warm air mass becomes trapped between two colder air masses, one from the west and one from the east and is forced up. OK, occluded means closed in. A large area of bad weather accompanies the occluded front. Okay. So then we uh, talk about ocean currents and I'm actually going to start on this video next.